So my name is Penny Brothers. I'm director of the Research School of Chemistry at the Australian National University. I've had a career as a professor of chemistry, so I teach chemistry and I do research in chemistry, particularly inorganic chemistry and materials chemistry. I describe myself as an inorganic chemist. But all that really means is that I'm interested in the behavior of elements from all over the periodic table. So people who mostly work on organic chemistry are mostly working on the chemistry of carbon-based compounds, but I'm interested in the chemistry of materials and, and molecules that are made up of atoms from all over the periodic table. So I'm interested in their chemistry, how we make molecules using those atoms and I'm interested in how they behave and I'm interested in what we can use them for. So a really good example of how material scientists are producing new materials is in completely different kind of materials for solar cells. So we know what solar cells do, they're those sort of black things that sit on roofs and collect sunlight energy and convert it to electricity. And they're kind of limited because they're large and rigid and fragile and sit on roofs. But chemists and material scientists are busy developing completely different kinds of new materials that can be incorporated into plastics or incorporated into paints, so that wherever you've got a surface, might even be the clothes that you wear, you can have solar collecting materials built in to those surfaces or those materials and allow us to much more flexibly and conveniently collect solar energy and convert it to electricity. So the cool thing about materials is that it doesn't just live in one area of science. So although I'm a chemist, if I want to talk to other scientists about how to harness particular properties of materials, I might talk to physicists because they're experts at the kind of interactions between things that are really deep theoretical mathematical level. I might talk to a whole range of different kinds of chemists who are experts. Some of them are experts at making things. Some of them are experts at measuring and studying the properties of new materials. I might talk to engineers and technologists because the physicists and the chemists together might design a new material, but then to actually build it into a device or a machine, they need the help of engineers and technologists. And then I might talk to biologists. For example, if I was designing a new material that was going to behave as a sensor, like say a sensor for blood sugar, which is really important for people with diabetes, then I might want to talk to a biologist who would tell me some information about what particular biological features I need to be able to measure and then we talk to the technologist and then we talk to the physicist and together we come up with something that's going to work to do a particular job. 